Just think of what I can make with all this! This is Lunatic Wisdom Laboratory, the greatest research facility in the world. This is the Central Lab, the biggest research room of them all. Hey, I bet they can make something to send us back 10,000 years here. I bet you you're right. Thanks to you, the lab's been completely restored to its former state. I really appreciate it. Now let me explain my plan for getting you to Griffin 10,000 years in the past. Really? Sure, there's nothing this Luna Lab can't do. Ixion, a time-traveling locomotive. A fantastic non-stop express that can cross both time and space. When this is finished, you'll be able to travel 10,000 years into the past, where Griffin is. Amazing! How much longer will it take? Well, let's see. Well, let me check. Dr. Jamming! Jamming? What? Now hold on a minute. This is not the same jamming that attacked you back in the past, okay? Well, not exactly the same anyway. He happens to be his grandson. Dr. Jamming's grandson? I'm terribly sorry. It seems my grandfather caused you a lot of trouble. Please accept my apology. However, without my grandfather's research, I would have never been able to develop the Ixion. My grandfather was researching technology that would allow objects to float on the air using sound. He called this his aeroharmonics flying technology. However, he came to a dead end in his research and became desperate. That's when Gaspard persuaded my grandfather into becoming one of Griffin's servants. But when he lost that battle to you two, he had a change of heart. He rededicated himself to his research and was able to perfect his aeroharmonics technology. He perfected aeroharmonics? Many flying vehicles were developed after that based on his technology. Of course, the Ixion here takes advantage of the same technology, and by combining it with the space-time control panel I developed, my grandfather has passed away. But before he died, he told me I should use his research for something good and just. I try to carry on his wishes, and I think that by continuing his research, this world can truly be saved. Dr. Jamming, he was quite a guy. Yes, and you helped him become the man he was. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say... But that's strange. In the history I know, aeroharmonics technology was never perfected. Our travels must be creating a new history for the world. Do you think that's okay? Well, I'm still getting the hang of this, but I'm thinking that maybe history as you know it is not necessarily the one true history. Huh? As well as fixing the flow of time that Griffin has disrupted, we've also been able to add new flows to it. And though these have been different from the original flows, maybe they're meant to be the real world history. Ultimately, you could say that even Griffin himself is playing a necessary part in creating a new, complete history. Griffin? <laughs>
Necessary? You can't be serious! Why not? Doctor, something terrible's happened! The rebel forces in the west are coming under attack from Griffin! What? Attacked? Get me Elena! Huh? Elena, your name, mother. Just who is my mother? And why isn't she with us? Even my own father wouldn't answer my questions. Now I realize that father hoped I would find out those answers for myself. This is Elena. We're fighting Griffin's main army over here. If it carries on like this, Griffin will probably attack the Luna Lab too. Be careful. Mother? Is that... Is that Max? Yes. You mean this boy is Elena's... That's right. Max is Elena's son. Max, I'm sorry. I'll bet your father never told you what happened to me. That's right. But why? Max, we live in different worlds. What? It's all right, Max. I'll explain everything. I'll tell you why I couldn't go on living with you. But to explain that, I need to explain what's going on in this world now. What do you mean by that? I'm from the future, just like Monica. Our time has changed greatly because of the devastation caused by Emperor Griffin. We couldn't let Griffin get away with it. So the people of our time formed a rebel force to fight against him. But Griffin began to use the power of the stone. Stone? One of the fabled Atlamilia stones that possess great powers. Powers that can move the earth and control time. Griffin harnessed that power to rewrite history bit by bit. He turned on people and erased their very existence from history. Lemuria are strange jewels with a will of their own. They choose their owners themselves. Legend has it that Atlamilia will only choose for their owners people of good heart. We don't know how Griffin has managed to get his hands on one of the Atlamilia. But the fact is, he can use the power of that stone. And for us to be able to fight him, we needed one too. Three Atlamilia exist in the world. The first is the Sunstone, which Griffin possesses. The other two are the Moonstone, which emits a blue light, and the Earthstone, which emits a red light. Griffin tried to increase his powers by gaining possession of the remaining two Atlamilia. So he searched for the remaining two stones. First, we traced the owner of the Moonstone. That was Monica's father, King Raybrandt. At first we thought we could inherit the Atlamilia from King Raybrandt to help us in our fight against Griffin. But the stone wouldn't accept any one among us as its owner. And so, in the end, we were unable to get the stone. We guarded King Raybrandt so that the stone would not fall into Griffin's hands. We decided to protect the person that the stone had chosen from the threat of Griffin. But Griffin was devious, and he assassinated King Raybrandt. Griffin didn't get his hands on the stone, though. The stone refused to become Griffin's, and instead chose King Raybrandt's daughter, Monica, as its new owner. 
That's how the second stone came to be Monica's. And so we looked for the last remaining Aplamilia, the Earth Stone. But we couldn't find it, because it didn't exist in our time. According to the prophecy of the great sage, Crest, the Earth Stone existed 115 years in the past. Its owner was a young boy called Gerald. We knew that Griffin would use his powers to travel through time and go back to Gerald's era looking for the stone. In order to protect the Red at Lemelia, I traveled to Gerald's time. And I made it my job to protect him. But during the time I was with Gerald, I fell in love with him. And then, Max, you were born. The first five years of your life went by in a flash. But then I had to return to my own time, because the war against Griffin was intensifying. I said goodbye to you and Gerald, and I returned to my time. I haven't been able to see you since. My mother is from the future? That's right, and we are the ones that were chosen by these two Atlamilia. But I... I was just given this stone by my father. No, not exactly. Your father couldn't even touch it anymore. He must have realized the stone had chosen a new owner. Gerald couldn't touch it himself, but he saw you could play with it without effect. The Atlamilia chose you as its new owner, so Gerald let you have it. I think that the Atlamilia have reasons for who they choose as their owners. There's probably even a reason why Griffin was chosen. A reason he was chosen? That's right. Like what? That I don't know. But the stones are guiding people for the sake of something great. I can just feel it. I'm sorry. It looks like we haven't any more time to talk. Just wait a little longer. If we can recreate Pasnos, we'll have a chance to fight back. Recreate Pasnos? But how? Max and Monica will recreate its origin point, of course. The origin point of Pasnos is a workshop in Heimrada, a village at the foot of Mount Gondor. You'll have to head there. But Mount Gondor is a dangerous place. I'm not sure if you... We'll be fine, Elena. Just leave it to us. Don't worry, Mother. I'll save you. Just stay here. Max, okay. Take care, both of you. You bet! Hurry now and set out for your next goal. The Volcano of Mount Gundor. A huge factory in the Gundorada workshop will be built there in the future. That's where the Rebellion Army's ace in the hole, Pasnos, will be built. Pasnos? It was the mobile stronghold of our rebel army. Griffin wiped Pasnos out, but if we could bring it back, I bet we can make a counterattack. Then let's go to Mount Gundor! Monica, how's that bridge? We finished the repairs ages ago, guys. Then let's head for Mount Gundor. All right.
it works! Good, huh?
Say cheese. 